hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time meeting me my name is bella and you are welcome to my channel so today we're going to be making this lovely ball dress together yes in my previous video we made the flowers so if you've not seen that video do well to see it click the link in the description box below so today is all about this lovely ball dress okay and we're concentrating more on the upper bodies the overlapping effects so stay tuned and sure you watch to the end because I will be giving some corrections and um, some of my observations in the pattern we used in making this so stay tuned let's get started so in today's video we'll be concentrating more on the upper part because the down part is the normal ball dress um joining okay if you don't know how to join the lower part of your ball dress i have several videos on this channel which i will leave the links in the description box you can go check them out for more detailed tutorial and we also have a ball dress class so if you need the ball dress class is a course on its own for ball dresses you should also click the link in the description box to buy the course okay so in today's tutorial we'll be focusing more on how to achieve the overlap uh, effect on the ball dress so um i'm going to start with the basic bodies this is my basic bodies for an eight years old if you don't know how to draft your basic bodies i have a detailed video on how to draft kiddies basic bodies so i'll leave the link also in the description box below so check that out to know how to draft your own basic bodies using your own child's measurements okay so here we have the front pattern and the back pattern so um the first thing to do is why it's still on fold so notch your center line up and down notch the center line then you notch your um sewing allowance here i left about one inch sewing allowance you can see the yellow chalk mark on it so you notch it because we're going to be referring to it so i will unpin my pattern i'll open it up so here i have my pattern okay so the next thing to do is to calculate how much uh, the length of the two net you need okay so from your this is the um, sewing allowance notch that I mat here so from this notch because you're going to sew this in so from this notch I'm going to be ruling out a straight line to this shoulder line here just watch what I'm doing because this is the way your um your your true net is going to overlap this is how they will cross each other so i don't need this second line but let me just um draw it out for you to see what we are trying to achieve okay so this is how the two nets are going to be overlapping each other I hope we're seeing the chalk mark. I don't know if we are seeing this chalk mark. Okay, so from this line to here, we're going to measure it out because that's the length for our two. So I have 16 here. I have 16 here. I'm I'm going to be deducting one inch from it. The one inch is because this um this uh, this overlap is not going to sit directly on the shoulder. It fell off the shoulder, so you can deduct about one to two inches from it, depending on the size of the 
child and how big the body of the child is okay so um i'm deducting i'm deducting one and a half yes let me deduct one and a half because she's um a bit slim okay so i have 16 measuring from here to here excluding my sewing allowance i have 16 so when i deduct 1.5 from it i have 14.5 that's for the front so for the back so this back now i'm going to be putting an image on your screen the back depends on what you want there are some that will just come straight down to the waistline why some comes like this to um join the zipper part you can see from the purple dress that it's joined the zipper area so this back length totally depends on you so if you're going to be joining it straight to the zipper area then this is how you take the measurement like this this is how you're going to take the measurement it depends on where you want the, your uh, yours to start so for me if i'm doing it for the zipper area i'm going to be adding i'm going to be doing it eight inches okay i hope you understand what i'm saying this is for those that want uh, the um two nets to enter the zipper area just as you saw on the purple dress or you're seeing on the purple dress on your screen so, but the one i'm doing is coming from the way the, from the shoulder straight down to the waist so this is how i'm going to be taking my own measurement like this okay so here i have 13 and that 13 i'll deduct 1.5 also from it so 1.5 from 13 will give me um 11.5 okay so 11.5 so we're going to be adding them together we are going to add, be adding them together because that's the length of the two nets you're going to be working with so i have 14.5 11.5 so when you add 14.5 and 11.5 together we will have 26 so the length of our two net is going to be 26 why the width of the two net you can calculate all is your center line from this center line here to your um seam allowance to your sewing allowance you can measure what you have there and that is um i have six and a half so i can multiply 6.5 times 10 that should give me 65 that should be my width the width of my length so by the time i gather them together it's going to um give me what i want here okay so you're cutting these two you're cutting 26 by 6 65 into two places okay the 26 is the length while 65 is the width i want you to rewatch this over and over again to understand this calculation that i just did that is what all you need for the um cross um crisscross um effect of the two net okay so now since we are done with that please keep the figure that you got so let me write mine down i got 26 for the length and 65 for the width of the net so i'll cut it out later okay so to um finish up our pattern of course we're not going to be leaving it full bodied like this we're going to turn it into an off shoulder pattern okay i have a detailed video on how to cut kiddies off shoulder the link will be in the description box below if you haven't seen the video or if you don't know how to cut um kiddies ball dress uh off shoulder okay so so to turn this into an off shoulder our normal way of cutting off shoulder i'm going to be um coming down to four inches or three and a half inches totally depends on you okay let me come down by three and a half inches 
Okay. So I'll rule out my three and a half inches. So after that, I'm going to come down by one and a half inches for my sweetheart neckline and I will shape that out. So all this figure totally depends on what you want. You might not want your yours as low as this or as high as this. It depends on your choice and your preference. It totally depends on your choice and preference. So I'm going to cut this out now. This is my off shoulder. So I'm going to be using this to cut my lining and my neck. If you know me very well, if you've been following my today's video, you will know that I don't just sew um, satin directly like this and leave it all shiny like this, even though I'm using dog face, but you can still see that it still has a little bit of um, shine on it. Okay, I prefer to um, place two nets on it just like this. Assuming this is my pattern, okay. If you've been following my videos, you will know that I do this all the time. I don't like just um, the bare um, satin. So I make sure I use my pattern to cut out exact thing on my two net. And this time around, I will be doubling the two net because I don't want this. I want it to just blind. I, I call it blinding or uh, taming down the shiny effect of the satin. Okay, so. I'm going to be placing my two nets on it and cut out. So I'll use this now on the front to cut out one lining, which is bridal satin also, and um, two two nets, okay? Yeah. So um, for the back, we're still coming down by the three and a half we did for the front. We came down by three and a half for the front. So we still do that for the back. So after that, I'm coming down by the same 1.5 inches for my V neckline. So it's going to be a V neckline. You can do one, one inch V neckline. You can do two inches. Okay. This is the V neckline. Remember your zipper around one side is going to be straight. The V stops at the zipper allowance line. As you can see. Okay. So you can use your front to cross check if the armhole balances well. Okay. It's, it balances. It matches. Okay. So you can now cut. So I'll also use the back pattern to cut my lining and my two nets in two places just to blind the shiny effect of the, it just as if you're sewing a lace that has an underlay of rather satin. Okay, just just assume that your two net is your lace. So that's it. So I'll go now to cut out this and um cut out this and i'll get back to us guys i'm done cutting out my pattern so this is the net that i'm going to be placing on the pattern for the back and this is for the front and i've cut out my lining okay so um i went ahead to cut out these um this is um six seven inches length and four inches width. I'm going to be using it as a um, the sleeve, the off shoulder sleeve, just to hold it because they are kids, and um, I don't want just this um, net. Yes, I've cut out this net with our measurements, the 26 inches length, and um, 
uh, 65 inches width okay this is it here in two places because it's going to be crossing each other okay so i want this as a band sleeve so by the time i it's four inches in in length or height if i fold it into two and sewing the same allowance at the end of the day is going to be remaining 1.5 inches i don't want it to be too much and too obvious i just want it to help hold the off shoulder you can do this as a tube if you want, but I don't want to do mine as a tube. I don't like kids wearing tube, okay? <laughs> so, um, if you want to do it as a tube, you can just from the armhole cut it out straight, okay? So, we're going to the sewing machine now to turn the neckline and fix the band. Please kindly refer back to my video on how to sew off shoulder um off shoulder kid dress i'm going to leave the link in the description box below i wouldn't want this video to be too long so i'm going to couple this now join the neckline and the band and and i'll get back to us then i'm going to gather this i'm going to be using my gathering stitches to gather the width okay up and down sorry the length i'm going to gather them up and down okay i'm going to gather it back to the size of this place this um 6.5 i have here i'm going to gather it back to that size okay so the all these i'm going to do on my sewing machine now and i'll get back to us so guys i'm done um stitching or gathering the um two nets the length is 26 as we calculated while the width is 65 so i gathered the upper part and the lower part okay then remember the figure we got for the front is 14.5 and the figure for the back is 11.5 from the our calculation so from here you can see that this is the longer part from here to this gathering line is 14.5 why from this gathering line to here is 11.5 so you're going to use this gathering line to the to demarcate or differentiate between the front and the back so this place is going to the front while this is going for the back and this will sit at the shoulder line okay so i did the same for the two of them so right now i'm moving i'm going to um couple my my uh, front and back bodies okay so this is the front I've, I just turned the neckline only and this is the back equally turned only the neckline okay so now I'm going to be stitching my front and the back together and attach this band here it's going to be like this here and I'll cross over to the back too so this um, I don't want this video to be too long I have a detailed video on how to couple an off shoulder uh but off shoulder dress for kids okay kids off shoulder so the link in the description box go there to see how to couple this remember we in in this on this channel we do lining to lining fabric to fabric to achieve a clean and neat finishing so do well to see that video i'll go now to couple this and i'll get back to us on how to fix this too then after that we can fix the down part of our ball dress and fix our zip and we are done okay so guys i'm done um coupling the or sewing together the bodies okay so this is the lining side remember i said lining to lining um fabric to fabric if if you don't know how to do this please click click the link in the description box below to watch that video so the next thing to do now is to fix this okay this is the most important thing in this video okay so to fix this remember that it's going to be crisscross like this like this and like this and remember that we have the longer part which should be in the front and the shorter part which should be at the back so what i do is 
this is my center line this line here there um, this notch here indicates the center line so from the center line i'm going to be moving away one inches or oh, an inch from it on both sides okay you can move an inch you can move one and a half inches depending on how you want it to cross each other okay so okay and from the sides to i'll move about an inch or half an inch okay an inch or half an inch now this marks now this is where your um this net is going to start from and this is where it's ending it's ending after the um the center mark line not the one before okay this is the one after like towards the other side okay from here you you move over to one inch so that it can overlap and cross very well okay so this one too is coming from this one inch here over to this side the one inch mark on this side so so this is it from here to here you place it down okay and you go and sew it then this back you move out again one inch or half an inch from the side seam and you place it from there okay and sew it down that allow it to get to your zipper allowance okay so remember that it is crossing don't fix it straight to this side oh okay don't do that don't fix it straight to the side oh no it will cross to this side on oh, at the back so let me go do that now so you do that for the two of them i hope you understand this one let me say it again this one is coming from here to here and instead of going straight to the back um, to the back no it's coming over to this side remember this side is for this place but it's coming over to this side on so that it can overlap okay so let me do that so guys this is what i have done okay i forgot to mention when you're sewing down please raise your lining up you're sewing only on the main fabric okay so this is this is the no, we're not going to see it now because it's not on the mannequin, but I guess we can see the crisscross, okay? So, it's a little bit um, bulky now. You have to do um, a lot of steam press, okay? Except you're using a softer um, tool that is easy to compress, okay? You do um, a lot of steam pressing, okay? Press it down, then use your hand to arrange it like arrange it you, you you do some little bit of tacking and arranging okay as if you're drifting so when you're done with that you tack it down here and there okay just to keep it in place you know they are kids now they are not adults that can manage themselves okay and you arrange the pleats a little bit to make it more beautiful you can see as i'm arranging it it's it's relaxing and it's more beautiful okay you can see you can see it so this is the crisscross i'll go ahead now to attach the base so this is the base this is about 15 yards this one eight years old 15 yards okay i have the satin inside so if you don't know how to do this, anything about the base, click the link in the description box below to watch other um, tutorials, to watch my other tutorials on how to make a complete ball dress. Okay, so I'll go ahead now to sew this base to these um, upper bodies that we've prepared. I'll iron, arrange, and do my packing thing and add my flowers that we created in the previous video. Okay, and I'll show us what we have made at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've watched so far to this um 
point kindly subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell like this video comment share it if it was helpful okay so that others can learn with you okay comment let me leave your comment in the comment section below let me know what you think let me go now to add the base and i'll show us what we've made on the mannequin so guys this is what we have made isn't this beautiful and lovely like i said before i was going to tack it but then i discovered that once you make it tight enough once you make this net tight enough there will be no need for tacking down okay so the correction i want to make on our pattern is that figure we got when we measured the main bodies and the dotted 1.5 you can actually go as far as two inches to three inches you can deduct two inches to three inches just to make it very very tight and firm so you can see that when you deduct it makes it tighter and firm okay and you don't need to tack so if you have any question don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section below okay all my handles are in the description box below you can always contact me for questions or suggestions of the next video we are going to be making so till we meet again please if you make um any project with my video or tutorial don't hesitate to tag me and i'll always post you or mention you Till we meet again, I remember your favorite online fashion tutorial, Bella. Bye.